So here's what I'm talking about. If you are going to have any chance of evaluating the amount of bone loss, you want to look straight at the alveolar margin. So the bone, you want to look straight at it like here. In this case, you see the crowns and you, you are not looking straight. And the, the way you can see this is when you see the crowns overlapping the roots like this, you see the part of this part here. When you see the crown here on top of the roots, it means you are they are too short. Okay, so your X-ray um, beam you was moved too much up perpendicular or down depending on where you are, where your patient is uh, positioned. So you have to make the roots longer. Okay, and in this case, so this is a correct positioning. You don't see this line anymore. There's absolutely no line here. So this is a very important way to check yourself. Okay, you always want to be able to check yourself. Uh, did I do a good job? Um, and if someone presents you with an x-ray like this and say, oh, can you grade this tiny little pocket here? Is this, is this uh, how much bone loss do we have? You cannot really tell because you don't see uh, the x-ray. The positioning is not straight like this. In this case, you would be able to see if the bone has uh, receded just a tiny bit, and you could you could determine how much, but not in this case. So make sure when you are looking at your x-rays from tomorrow, do you see the crown? Uh, then it means it's too short. I hope that makes sense. Brachycephalic grades, oh, that's a whole different game, you know, and in brachycephalic